Hi guys, it's Lara. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. I promised on Instagram that I would film a video about the entire equipment that we have for Shadow. So I thought in this video I would show you all the equipment that we have for our walks and for hiking. And there will be a second part in which I will show you all the items that we have for at home and for the office. And if you guys are interested, I can also show you what personal items I have for myself for our walks, but that's up to you. You can let me know in the comments. So let's start. I will show you all the things that we have so that we would be perfectly equipped for fun time outdoors. Before we start, I will try to find links for all the things that I will show you in today's video. Some of these links might be affiliate links, which means if you would use them and purchase something, I might get a small commission. And there will be one item that I will show you today that I got sent free of charge. So I will let you know on time which item are we speaking of. And now let's jump right into the video. I think it would be the best to show you first all of Shadow harnesses and our leashes and then the rest of the equipment. So let's have a look at the harnesses first. These are all the harnesses that we have for Shadow. This was the first one we bought for him. We got that one in a local pet supply store called Fresnap. It's by the brand Dogs Creek and it was also the priciest. I believe I paid something around 50 euros. And then later we got these two. I bought these two on Amazon. They are by the brand True Love and they are considerably uh, less expensive. But in my opinion, they are pretty much the same. So if they didn't have these logos, I could not tell them apart. So of course, it's always great to support local businesses. But if you are on a budget, I can definitely recommend these. I'm pretty happy with these. The quality seems really great so far. So these are no pull harnesses. They are padded and breathable. Uh, this is the part that goes on the back with a D-ring and a handle and on the belly there's also always a D-ring to which you can attach the leash as well. And these straps that go around the dog's neck can be uh, adjusted and so can be these straps that go around the dog's belly. Here we have all Shadow's leashes. So we have two jogging leashes that came with a waistband and a regular leash. So the jogging leashes can be easily recognized because they have snap hooks on each side. So there's always a waistband or a band that you tie around your hips to which you attach one side of the leash and then you attach the other side to the dog's harness. So the shorter one came with this waistband, which I will show you in a bit. And the longer one came with a waistband that has a fanny pack on it. The longer jogging leash is the one we are using on a daily basis. And that is also our favorite leash because it's nicely long so that Shadow has enough freedom, but it has also firm parts uh, closer to the snap hook. So whenever I need Shadow to walk, walk closer to me, I can grab the leash there. So it has a firm uh, part with a loop here on this side. This is the side that I attach to Shadow's harness. Then there is a bungee part. Again, a firm part with an additional loop and a longer bungee part, which I attach to my waistband. The other jogging leash has on each side a loop and that's the part that doesn't stretch out. And the midsection is a bungee part that stretches out. I honestly never use this one. I only have it because I wanted this waistband uh, that has no pockets on it and the leash came with it. So theoretically, I could use it as an extension for the longer jogging leash or if we would go somewhere on a walk where I would know that it would be better if Shadow would walk closer to me. And I love using jogging leashes because since they are attached to a band that's around my waist or hips, I don't always have to hold it in my hand unless the situation requires Shadow walking closer to me. And that's one of the reasons why I got them. They offer Shadow enough pre uh, freedom so that he can sniff around and 
walk a little bit more freely but since huskies are not necessarily off-leash dogs it is great that even though he has his freedom i still have enough control there are definitely situations in which it is way more practical having a leash like this that you can attach either to your hip or to your waist instead of having to hold it with your hands for example when you go hiking so not so long ago we were in syria and both the ascent and the descent have been quite difficult at some places and it was really great having enough space for shadow so that he has his freedom so that he could find his own path downwards i didn't have to hold the leash i didn't have to worry though that he would run off chase some wild animals in the woods and um, since i didn't have to hold the leash with my hands i was able to hold my balance easier so overall it's a really great thing and if you like jogging and if your dog enjoys jogging it's also a really great thing and i read that these bungee parts are really nice for your dog's spine because when they start running a little bit faster it kind of stretches out and it's not so harsh for their back then um, this leash is just a regular leash it has a loop on one side with a d-ring i attached a poopy bag holder to it and it has a snap hook um, on the other side and an additional loop again whenever i would need shadow to walk closer to me i could grab the leash here which is really nice let me show you the first waistband that we have. So it's the one with the fanny pack that goes on my back. And then I close it like so around my waist. The length can be adjusted. And then there are two um, strings or straps with D-rings and I attach the leash to these. So this pocket is big enough so that I could fit a water bottle inside. My phone fits in here and there is a compartment for poopy bags. This is really great for short walks only here around the house. Uh, I don't like wearing this when I'm wearing backpacks because these pockets kind of get in the way. And also in the summer I find it's a little bit too hot when I have this on. So that's why I actually ordered the other waistband with the shorter jogging leash. I personally find it super practical and I basically wear it every single day. So it has two D-rings. I always attach this crossbody bag to one of them and the leash to the other one. And a clasp. And then the length can be adjusted. So you can wear it either around your waist or around your hips. I like having it mostly around my waist, but just a little bit looser. And... Um, it's pretty simple, you attach the leash to one of the D-rings and you're good to go. This cross body bag is the item that has been sent to me for free. So this portion of the video is basically sponsored. I'm gonna go a little bit closer so that you could see it in detail, but I wanted to show you how I wear it. It has a main compartment for doggy treats. So I usually have like two handfuls of doggy treats and it can be closed with this drawstring, which I find very practical. There is a zipper pocket in the front where I keep my phone, which I can't show you because I'm filming on it. And I like keeping my sunglasses here into this net pocket. It has a little side pocket for poopy bags, super practical. And on the back, there is another zip pocket where I keep usually one or two tissues and my house keys. And there is this snap hook, also very practical and I use it in order to strap it to my waistband that I wear with Shadow's leash. It also has these two D-rings on the back, so I could take the main strap off, I could tighten it, hook it on these two D-rings and hang it around my waist as a fanny pack. I personally prefer wearing it this way, crossbody, because I pretty much always wear this waistband. I only wish it were just a little bit bigger because I have quite a large phone and it doesn't fit 100% into the zipper pocket in the front, but the zipper pocket is tight enough so that the phone wouldn't fall out. Here we have Shadow's water bottle. It's for half a liter. So this is the main button. When the bottle is unlocked, it releases water into the dish in the front. That, the small button, 
locks the bottle when I move it towards the middle and obviously unlocks it into the opposite direction. So you simply tip the bottle a little bit and release some water into the dish and then your dog can drink. It is super practical. Um, the half a liter is not always enough. During the lockdown, the hydrants that are here in the park where we walk a lot were closed, so I had to carry an additional water bottle with me so that I could fill it up. But in general, it's a really practical size. The bottle is not too big. It fits also into my smaller backpack. And since now the hydrants are open again, I can easily fill it up again once Shadow drank all the water. This is Shadow's muzzle. It's by the brand Ani One. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, so I'm just gonna show you the logo. And the muzzle is size 6. I picked particularly this muzzle because it has only straps that go behind Shadow's ears. There are some muzzles that also have a strap here in the middle, but Shadow hates it. It's made of plastic, it's very lightweight. I cut here through and also here on the bottom and here on each side so that he would get a little bit more air and so that I could also give him doggy treats through the side. Um, I had to train him so that he would be okay with wearing muzzle. And there is a video on YouTube that we followed, so I will link it down below because that was exactly the training that we did. We found it really helpful. He learned wearing muzzle in a really fun way and it took us only about two weeks. And from that time on, he wears it all the time on public transportation without any problems. This is our clicker. So we do clicker training with Shadow, which is based on positive reinforcement. I find it very effective and very helpful. The volume can be adjusted here on the back. So you have four levels. I find that the highest level is very annoying. That would be the sound. So I usually use maximum the second highest level, which is this one. Shadow sits. And then um, this is the lowest, which we would use indoors yes baby i like that i can hang the clicker around my wrist so that it's always ready whenever i want to use it i do not use it all the time but i do like having it ready for our walks because there are still some things shadows learning and when whenever he does the things right i want to let him know and it really helped us a lot he learned in the shortest time so much i'm so proud of him and the clicker has been definitely helpful this is a box of poopy bags I got for Shadow. They are biodegradable, which was very important to me. They need 18 months until they completely dissolve. They look like this, light green with paw prints. They are a little bit of see-through, so you might be able to see a bit of the content, which is something I read quite often in the reviews. Some people complained about that, but I honestly don't care about that. It is a dog's doo-doo. It's not going to get prettier, even if the back is not a see-through. And I find that they are robust enough to hold even a little bit bigger load. So when you open the first roll, I would recommend to be very gentle with this tape, because I again read in the reviews that some people said if you would tear it with force, then sometimes the first poopy bag would tear. So I'm really gentle with this. And when I do it really slowly, nothing happens. The first bag remains intact. So I highly recommend doing that slowly. But other than that, I think they are decent quality. The price was also okay. Uh, I've been using them also when we were hiking in the mountains. Although I have to admit, when I knew it's gonna be a while till we would come to a trash can, I would use two for Shadow's food, just to be sure. But other than that, super happy. I can totally see myself buying these again.
that is it for today. If you have any further questions, write them in the comments down below or simply contact me on Shadow's Instagram. It's linked down below together with his blog that we started recently. And stay tuned for part two in which I will show you our house and office equipment for Shadow. So thank you all so much for watching. Take great care of your pups and see you soon. Bye.